Hi guys, this is a quick update to the listening to custom intent broadcast video that I had done quite some time back. One of the comments that I received very recently on that particular video was the custom broadcast receiver was not triggering on the Oreo. So I just did a quick recce and found out that there have been certain changes in the way custom broadcast receivers are being triggered in Oreo. So let me tell you what the issue is. So I have broadcast receiver here and it has been registered in the manifest file in the custom action and default category and in the main activity whenever I click on a particular button the broadcast receiver used to get triggered so if I click here you can see that it is getting triggered but if I go back to the gradle file and make the target SDK version to be 27 which is Oreo and let me just sync and run this you will observe that the same broadcast receiver is not working so pre Oreo the broadcast receiver that used to to get registered just in the manifest file used to work perfectly fine but post oreo or oreo and post it is not working fine so the fix is pretty simple all you have to do is now they have made it compulsory to dynamically register the broadcast receiver in the application so if you just declare the broadcast receiver here in the manifest file that would not be sufficient you have to also register that particular broadcast receiver dynamically then only it works perfectly fine so let me me run the code right now and now if I click we will observe that once again the broadcast receiver is working fine and what if I remove it from the manifest file so let me try that even then it still works perfectly fine so the main conclusion is if you are working post Oreo make sure that whether you declare it in the manifest file or not the broadcast receiver you always register it dynamically in the code then only the broadcast receiver works so that's it that was a quick update on the broadcast receiver and I will see you pretty quickly on the regular ongoing series which is web service integration in android applications using retrofit so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye